Well, I'm Herslav. <laughs> I'm uh, 23 years old, uh, a doctor, a doctoral student uh, in the Graphist project. Uh, yeah, I worked uh, on miracles, uh, which uh, which is a totally different subject. But uh, I was a little bit tired of them and uh, I decided to change it, change the subject, change the topic of my research. There was an inaugurational uh, lesson, Seminaire d'inauguration. I just uh, attended. Well, it was quite easy because it was via Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, I thought that it could be interesting. Uh, and then I just uh, wrote to Estelle and uh, asked her if, uh, not, not if, uh, because she already told during that inaugurational lesson that uh, there will be a, do a, doctoral a, doc a doctoral student will be recruited to the project. And then I asked when, uh, the recruitment, when will the recruitment start. And so then, after uh, after we exchanged some like a few letters, yeah, was selected. In fact, uh, it will be in general all the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, because well, there are the the Italian inscriptions everywhere. Uh, but uh, in terms of the database, uh, I will be dealing mostly with the uh, Crimean inscriptions, at least for now. Maybe later uh, I will also deal with uh, the Venetian ones, uh, the Venetian one in, in inscriptions in Greece, but I'm not sure. Uh, for now, it's uh, the Crimean. But well, it's for the database. And for my uh, thesis, uh, it is also the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, so all all the all, all the all the Italian inscriptions, whether in Greece or in Crimea or in Turkey or in the Holy Land, uh, and well, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm not sure myself <laughs> whether it uh, is possible to do by by, by by myself only, but well. If Estelle is sure, well, possibly it's, well, it can be done <laughs> then. Well, I, I think I, w I will be, uh, because uh, sometimes, uh, for example, well, again, uh, uh, if, if, if we talk about uh, Crimean inscriptions, there are some photos uh, which are uh, 80 years old, so they should be replaced by the newer ones, uh, I think. Other Italian inscriptions, which I will also study uh, as a part of my thesis, are already quite well documented and uh, photographed and, and well, uh, for example, by Serjan. <laughs> but, well, also some other researchers uh, uh, working alone uh, can be can be productive sometimes, maybe more productive than working in a team because, well, even you, you can just uh, concentrate entirely on what you are doing. But uh, at the same time, uh, it well, first, it's just simply more boring, and uh, second, uh, it's very like uh, straightforward. Uh, but at the same time, while working in the team. Uh, you can maybe uh, make some uh, like uh, uh, additional conclusions uh, which you didn't expect to 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 to, to do, which uh, you couldn't do alone. My challenge uh, is to, I don't know, to, to to survive <laughs> to survive the project <laughs> <laughs> to finish my thesis, hopefully in three years and not in four or five or six or as long as uh, it uh, takes uh, sometimes <laughs> in France, especially if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, that's the first thing. And the second, uh, well, uh, 
I think uh, that it will be maybe the first time when I will need to work uh, maybe even more than I am used to because, well, especially during the last year of my master's, I just uh, wrote my dissertation and that's all. And well, here it's time for that, that time to work, <laughs> time to work hard. Uh, well, I think I will be able to manage, but uh, at the beginning it will be quite challengeable. <laughs> well, they lived uh, quite uh, hard lives, maybe. Well, especially in Crimea, given the fact that it was a frontier of the of the. Christian world of the uh, of the of the settled world because well there were there were Tatars and uh, the hordes uh, outside uh, to the north. If someone is not convinced uh, in the in the necessity <laughs> of what I am doing, uh, I specify that uh, I am also. Uh, paid for it well maybe not too much but paid for it so it's so and that means that it's uh, necessary and uh, yeah that's uh, something like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so.